Hey guys, Jared back. So I've got a wicked new game for you to try out. It's called Fangs HD. It's about $2 in the Play Store. Um, so I know a lot of you guys are getting tired of all the zombie games. I never get tired of them. I just love the zombie games. But here we have vampire type game. So we've got campaign and survival mode, jump into campaign, uh, various levels. It actually took me quite a while to uh, get to the point where I'm at now. So um, that's a really good sign for those of you out there that like long-term gameplay. You know, you want to be able to buy a game and have hours and hours and hours of playtime with it. Uh, before you start each level, it gives you um, the option to kind of upgrade your different um, stats and weapons and things like that. Which is great. So we'll go ahead and jump into the level now. Um, this is actually a brand new level. I just finished like a whole chapter. Uh, so we're going to be getting into something that I actually haven't had a chance to play yet. Uh, you'll notice right away that um, the artwork is kind of interesting. Uh, it looks very cartoony, obviously, but it's really, really well done. Um, very smooth graphic gameplay as well. Uh, we have our controls, our movement controls in the bottom left-hand corner, our fire button right there, and our jump button, which if we double tap, can give us a bit of a spin. That's kind of how you're going to be getting away from the vampires if they get a little bit too close to you and you don't want them to bite you. Uh, all of your stats are in the top left-hand corner there, your points, and so on. So let's go ahead and go blow away some uh, vampires. Now as you go along, um, you, you do kind of want to pay attention to the ammo because um, you will run out of ammo eventually, but don't worry, if you kill enough uh, vampires, they end up dropping ammo packs and various other items that you can use and pick up um, and they'll give you, you know, basically money, like I'm just going to pick up something behind the table there, or the uh, bench there, and that money uh, you can later on use to spend on upgrading, uh, you know, various things like, you know, your, your stats and, and weapons and whatnot. Um, so it is basically a side scroller. Uh, it's got quite the storyline behind it. It's actually quite a funny storyline. I've really enjoyed playing it so far in campaign mode. Um, I actually believe it or not, I haven't had a chance to play survival mode, but you know everybody knows what survival mode is. It's just non-stop waves of you know whatever bad um, you know bad guys are coming at you. So. Uh, these are kind of some funny characters. As you progress throughout the game, you'll get these different types of characters. So, uh, so far I've got kind of these like urban hip hop type zombies that have been coming after me. Um, and they're pretty funny. Some of the things that they say are pretty funny. They don't actually say anything like as far as audio is concerned, but they do, you know, some little textual um, storyline uh, boxes pop up and you can have a read of those. It's pretty funny. Um, so we're just going to go along here. Uh, you can choose the different weapons, uh, right hand side. Um, so it starts you off with the shotgun, a pistol, and um, sort of a billy club or like a baseball bat, uh, which you can use in case you run out of ammo, which is always a bad thing. Um, however, sometimes you will notice that some of these levels might be a little bit difficult for you to pass, so you may want to just kind of run through them once or twice, um, even if you're expecting to lose and or die. Um, but that's okay because the amount of money and coins, things like that, that you've built up, you can actually use to, you know, upgrade your stats, upgrade your weapons and so on. Um, and that'll make it that much easier for you to make it through. I've, I've, you know, died on levels before where I was like, there's no way I'm getting through this. And then when I got to the, um, stats upgrade page, um, I just did a couple of small bumps and, um, I just flew through the level. So, uh, you know, there isn't, there isn't, you know, situations where you're going to be like, this game sucks. I hate it. I can't beat it. You know, I quit. Um, I'm just loving the graphics though and I mean you can see like it's very gory there's blood everywhere but in a cartoony manner so I'm just in love with it uh, anyways guys I'll be posting a link in the description below tons of levels huge storyline for you um, lots of fun great graphics uh, very easy on the performance uh, side of things you know it's, it shouldn't bog down your device at all I haven't noticed anything mind you I am rocking a Galaxy S4 so um, that probably doesn't hurt uh, anyways, yeah, uh, hopefully you like this video, hope you like this game, if you do, what kind of other games are you guys interested in? Do you like vampire games? Are we getting tired of the whole, um, you know, vampire zombie scene? Uh, are we looking for something new? Are we looking for some more shooter games, some more racing games? Do you guys like puzzle games? Let me know what you guys want to see in the comments down below. Uh, if you like this video, click that likes button, and if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing for more videos like this one in the future. And if you want to stay up to date on all things The Smoke and Android, you can always follow me on Twitter and Google+. That's it for now, guys. Guys, time for me to keep going. Check you later. Peace.